If you make instructional or documentary YouTube videos like I do, you know that the easiest thing to do is to add a voiceover to your informational clips. If you look at the successful channels, they spend a lot of time in front of the camera, which the common wisdom would suggest increases audience engagement. Viewers can't get emotionally attached to you if they don't see your face talking to them on the screen. A common method to get your face in the video is to add a talking head picture in picture inset where you speak your lines into the camera. If you're like me, I can't remember a script, so the only way to go is to use a teleprompter. If you've got an iPad, you have most of the hardware needed to turn it into a first-class teleprompter. Let's have a look at the gear you'll need, starting with an iPad. I use a fourth-generation iPad Air, but the quality of your talking head video will depend on the quality of your iPad selfie camera. The size of your iPad screen will determine how big you can make your script. The bigger the iPad, the bigger your text. You'll need a tripod, one that's reasonably sturdy to hold your iPad securely and tall enough that you can position your iPad camera at eye level. If you don't have one, they're a lifetime investment. I'm still using the same Velbon tripod I bought 40 years ago. You can get by with a smaller one if you'll be recording sitting down. You'll need an iPad holder with tripod mount. I bought this sturdy one a year ago and I've been really happy with it. Last but not least, you'll need a teleprompter app for your iPad. I used the PromptSmart free version until fairly recently when I upgraded to the Pro Edition in order to capture video. I really like the voice recognition feature that adjusts the scrolling speed to my speaking speed without the need for a remote. There are other teleprompter apps out there, but I've been pretty happy with PromptSmart, who, by the way, did not sponsor this video in any way, shape, or form. One thing you do not need is $200 teleprompter hardware with beam splitter, etc. If you're using your talking head clips as insets, they will be small enough in your videos that you don't need a high-end camera or even your iPhone capturing you. The iPad selfie camera works just fine. Once you have all the necessary hardware and software assembled, it's time to prepare your script. I use the Apple Notes app synced through iCloud to my iMac, iPhone, and iPad which allows me to jot down ideas anytime or work on a big screen with a nice keyboard when I'm doing serious writing. Make sure you put your stage directions in angle brackets so the app doesn't wait for you to read them. Make sure to spell out numbers, dollars, or any other symbols because the app won't recognize them from your speech and it can stop scrolling. When your script is complete, just copy and paste into PromptSmart on your iPad. It's showtime. Prior to your performance, comb your hair, trim your nose hairs, nothing worse than looking up someone's nose, and put on a shirt that'll look good on camera. Wire up your lab mic and start up the teleprompter. Before you start talking, make sure you're centered in the camera, both horizontally and vertically. Make sure your audio recorder is on if you're using one and clap three times to record a sync signal. Then, you're on. When you're done recording, clap three times again for the ending sync, turn off the audio recorder and teleprompter. If you're happy with the performance, go ahead and save the file. It'll pop up in your Photos app. Your talking head video is in your Photos app. The next step is to get it ready for iMovie. Do any needed cropping in the Photos app because iMovie does not allow you to change aspect ratio when doing a crop. When you have your clip looking the way you want, export it at full resolution to your desktop or downloads folder. If you try to drag and drop into iMovie, you'll likely see a big loss in quality. When your export's finished, you can use the iMovie import tool or drag and drop it using the finder. Then drag it onto your timeline onto an overlay layer. Select the clip, and change the overlay type to picture in picture from cutaway, the default. Then size and position the frame where you like. 
If you find your talking head obstructs something important in your bass line, break the clip at a spot before that occurs and reposition it to a different corner of your video. And there you go. You've made your first talking head clip with a perfect script using your iPad teleprompter. If this video was useful, please click like or subscribe down below the player. Thanks a lot and happy filming.